Hey, happy Friday to you. Welcome back to the Friday Funnies. Well, here we go again, about to celebrate another national holiday under unusual circumstances. Fourth of July is tomorrow. Normally that means parades and picnics and fireworks. Well, not this year. This year there will be no parades. The picnic will probably be held in your kitchen, but the fireworks never go away. At least not in my neighborhood. You know, firework shows when put on by professionals can be quite beautiful. But the incendiary idiots around here buy illegal fireworks so that they can set them off illegally. And I gotta tell you, there is nothing like a drunk mutton head in the neighborhood with $500 worth of illegal fireworks and a big lighter. I mean, I think I can safely predict that America right now has more fingers than we're going to have at the end of the weekend. I'm also refining my candidacy for president. And I came up this week with my presidential slogan. You know, we're all still fighting uh, COVID-19. We, we, we want to get better. We're, we're tired of being sick. So my slogan is, make America well again. Huh? Watch for the Mawa hats to show up at the stores pretty soon. But until that happens, please revel in the idiocy of others. While virus-laden Americans are no longer wanted as visitors to the European Union, we can still visit Pakistan for a real adventure ride. This week, Pakistan International Airlines, this is the country's national airline, suspended one-third of their pilots because they had fake licenses. They just caught this now? I mean, they, these people, they didn't even know how to fly. They weren't qualified. 262 of these pilots paid somebody else to take the test, and they have no flying experience. <laughs> Oops. So anyhow, if you plan to travel to Pakistan this summer, I would stay off of the planes. And if you've got to go where, take a train. You've seen them on the Internet with all those people hanging off the sides. That's, that's the way to go. You know, we hear a lot of calls for justice today, but in some countries, they really have it. You know, in Australia, a man needed to poop really badly, so he ducked down an alley next to a dumpster and unloaded. Unfortunately for him, a guy coming out of the door in the next building saw the pooper in action, started yelling at him, and then, just to provide a punishment equal to the crime, he made the man pick up his pile and carry it home in his bare hands. I mean, you know, that's really unfair, but it does bring true meaning to the phrase, a turd in the hand is worth two in the tush. You know, if you really want to get away from it all, Space Perspective, that's the name of the company, has a deal for you. You can ride in a special balloon capsule that will take you to the edge of space. The hydrogen balloon is about the size of a football stadium. It's going to carry a capsule that will have only eight people in it, you know, because of social distancing. And it's going to be a six-hour tour that lifts off from Alaska, and it'll transport the passengers 19 miles above the Earth, where they'll be able to take selfies and post photos of themselves on social media. Then it will begin a two-hour descent before splashing down in the sea near Alaska. Alaska. That's a heck of an adventure, if you ask me. The best part is that since this is just a beginning adventure, you, there, you can buy a ticket for as low as $125,000. Of course, if you want one near a window, that'll be extra. <laughs> Hey, my friends, thanks for joining me again, and enjoy the upcoming holiday weekend. The 4th of July, celebrate our independence. It's going to be a little different than other years, but we can still celebrate while wearing a mask. I'll see you next week.